A taxpayer-funded charade. That is what President Donald Trump calls ongoing investigations into Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. Senate panel looking into this. They heard three hours of testimony yesterday, including from former Acting Attorney General Sally Yates, former National Intelligence Director James Clapper. Hannah Daniels reports. President Trump fired off a series of tweets Monday night, one labeling the, quote, Russia-Trump collusion story a total hoax. Another claiming former acting attorney general Sally Yates said nothing but old news during her Senate testimony earlier in the day. Yesterday, Yates confirmed she had two in-person meetings with White House counsel Don McGahn in January, warning him that then National Security Advisor Michael Flynn had misled Vice President Pence about his contacts with the Russian ambassador to the U.S. That created a compromise situation, a situation where the national security advisor essentially could be blackmailed by the Russians. Before she could present further evidence, the Obama administration holdover was fired by the president for refusing to defend his travel ban, while Flynn stayed on as national security advisor for another two and a half weeks. On Monday, CBS News also confirmed former President Obama counseled then-President-elect Trump to pick another national security advisor immediately after the election. If President Obama was truly concerned about General Flynn. Why didn't he suspend General Flynn's security clearance, which they had just reapproved months earlier? Aside from the Flynn affair, Senate lawmakers also asked Yates and former National Intelligence Director James Clapper if they ever reviewed classified documents in which the names of Trump associates were unmasked. Oh, yes. Both confirmed they had, but said they could not go into detail. Hannah Daniels, CBS News. Yates and Clapper also denied ever leaking classified information to the press. Former acting attorney general is due to testify before the House committee investigating Russia, but a date has not yet been set.